Hey guys, it's Sam. Today we're doing the second video in our series, Astigmatism Made Easy. In the first video, we talked about just some foundational things like what is astigmatism and what's regular astigmatism versus irregular astigmatism. You know, we also talked about corneal astigmatism as compared to residual or lenticular astigmatism. If you, if you need some help with those foundational principles, I encourage you to watch the first video. And today we're going to talk more about with the rule astigmatism, against the rule astigmatism, and oblique astigmatism. These are different types of regular astigmatisms. Um, and sometimes they're confusing because really the, the focus of this is knowing um, the meridian and which is steepest, which is flattest, and different applications. So we're going to look at some good examples, look at some prescription examples, so that you can comfortably define these. Um, to get started, I'm going to draw kind of like a compass on the board here. It's just going to help guide us along. But my goal is that you will have a firm understanding and know what you're talking about when it comes to like with the rule, against the rule, stigmatism. So um, we have our, our horizontal meridian, we have our vertical meridian. So let's start with just talking about with the rule of stigmatism. With the rule of stigmatism, our steepest meridian is along the vertical, the 90, or within 30 degrees of it. So within 30 degrees of 90, you have, what, 120 and then 60. So if your vertical meridian is steepest in that zone, you classify it as with the rule of stigmatism. This is, this is regular astigmatisms. So um, let's look at an example. So I will say for clarification, the prescription in minus cylinder form, which we always work in minus cylinder form, will have the axis around the 180 for these. And I'll show you why so that makes sense. So let's look at this example. Negative one, negative one, axis 180. This is just a classic with the rule of stigmatism example. Because when we transpose this, which means to find the, the value 90 degrees away, so you get negative two is our new sphere power. We could just do this just for the fun of it. But then we're gonna rotate that 90 degrees. So our power at 90 is negative two. Here's where it gets a little tricky. The cornea must be the steepest or the most, most plus power along the 90 for us to need a minus two. Think of it to neutralize all that plus power, you need more minus power, right? So you need the minus two along the 90. So that's highlighting the fact that that's with the rule of astigmatism, right? So negative one at 180, negative two at 90, you need more minus because the cornea is more plus along the vertical. That's, that's a little confusing, so let's do another example. I hope for some of you that's a light bulb uh, moment. So let's do uh, plus a half, negative three, axis 170. Okay, so plus a half, negative three, 170. We're in minus cylinder form. I want you to see that this 170 is definitely within 30 degrees of 180. So when we transpose 170, so what do we get? Um, what's 80 and 90 is 170. So uh, we're gonna say axis 80. Negative three and plus a half, you get negative 250. Just drop that down. What we're looking at is our sphere power. That's how much power exists along the 80. So, you know, your 80 degrees is going to be right here in this zone up here. And that's where you have your most minus power because it's neutralizing the most plus part of the cornea, which is the steepest part of the cornea, right? So this is a with the rule astigmatism example. Now I want to show you K readings for a with the rule astigmatism which K readings are even easier to define. It, it pretty much just gives you the answer. So let's say we want to do 44 at um, 180, 46 at 90. 
Well, first off, we notice there are two diopters of corneal astigmatism, right? 44 to 46 is the difference in the corneal curvature. And from here, you're just looking at the K values. All you need to know is the higher the, the K value, the 46, 47, 48, that gets steeper. And just a point to remember, the lower the radius of curvature, the steeper. So an 8.3 is steeper than an 8.7. I digress. So 46 at 90, 44 at 180. Hmm, well, this is steeper. Steeper cornea at 90, it's with the rule of astigmatism. And remember, if this number was anywhere in this zone, you would classify it as with the rule of astigmatism. See, not so bad. So now I want to, let's just change things up and we're going to do against the rule of stigmatism. Against the rule of stigmatism, think of it as a football standing up. That is an ugly football, but you get the point. So if this football is standing up, like this is a, a hyperbole, which is an over-exaggeration. That's a fun word. You can use it. But so it's an over-exaggeration of someone's eye shape for against the rule of stigmatism. It's saying that it's steeper in the horizontal meridian. And this, if you can imagine along the football, will be the flatter meridian, right? So that's against the rule of stigmatism. Against the rule of stigmatism is a little harder to work with than with the rule of stigmatism. But the math is exactly the same. So what you wanna know is that the prescriptions are gonna be around the 90 degree axis, working along the same principles of what we just covered for with the rule of stigmatism. So negative one, negative a quarter, axis 90. Okay, so this is a with the rule of stigma, I mean, uh, sorry, against the rule of stigmatism example. And what do we do? We, if it's in minus cylinder form, we could transpose it. So we get negative one and a quarter plus a quarter, axis 180. We have more minus power along the 180. We have, again, the logic, follow me, is you need more minus power in the lens along a particular axis that is steeper. So it's saying that the 180 or horizontal axis is steeper. So you'd say this is against the rule of astigmatism. Let's just do another example. Um, so we can do negative a quarter, negative a quarter, axis um, 70, we'll get crazy. So negative a quarter, negative a quarter, axis 70. So, you know, the 70 degree axis is gonna be right around here. So if we transpose that, if we add 90 to 70, we get 160. If we add our cylinder to our sphere to transpose, you get negative a half, drop that down. So we have negative a half, more minus power along the 160. The 160 is within 30 degrees of 180. So this negative a half is neutralizing our steeper meridian of the cornea, so it's against the rule of astigmatism. And let's let's do some K readings for against the rule. If you work through a couple of these examples, it'll it'll start to click. Um, and this is so foundational for your NCLE exam. If you can get this down, you can work through so many questions. So my encouragement is to, if you don't have a grasp on this, just to keep studying this principle. And, and it's really gonna help you. So um, yeah, K readings for against the rule, 43 at 90. We're just gonna make it steeper at 180, um, 43, 75 at 180. I don't even need to do another example. If, if we can get a good hold on this, remember 43 is flatter than 43, 75. The K readings are measuring the corneal curvature. They're measuring the corneal dioptric strength. So we know it's steeper along the 180, which is our horizontal, which is our against the rule um, astigmatism classification. So we've got with the rule. And you know, again, with the rule is a football laying on the ground like that. Your vertical is steeper, flatter on the horizontal meridian. Against the rule is opposite. Oblique is, is, you could just figure out by reason of deduction. So I'm gonna clean this up a little bit here. So 
So to figure out oblique astigmatism, we're going to define the other astigmatisms. So okay. So with the rule astigmatism, I said it's within 30 degrees of 90, so that it encompasses 60 to 120. So if your cornea is the steepest in this zone, that is with the rule of stigmatism. Against the rule of stigmatism, it's between 0 and 30. Right, because 0 is 180. So 30 degrees, within 30 degrees of 0 is 30. Hopefully that makes sense. And 180 to 150, if that's your steepest uh, meridian on the cornea, and you know, if we, if this was an actual cornea, it would go all the way down, right? This would be 90. That would be 30. Maybe this is, makes more sense. That's still 150. Right, so this is against the rule. Against the rule. Then you have uh, 60 to 90, 90 to 120. This is with the rule of stigmatism. And everything else is oblique astigmatism. This is all oblique astigmatism. So, um, for example, your prescription might have an axis of 135, or your prescription might have an axis of 45 um, to be oblique astigmatism. Or your K readings, it might just be Let's see, so that's 90, that's 180, 150. So this is where your cornea would have to be the steepest. So your K readings might be, you know, at 130. So 44 um, at 130. And then you could have a flatter meridian would be 90 degrees away from 130, which is what axis 40. Hopefully my math is right there. I think it is. So it's all they're showing is that it is steeper. The 44 is steeper than 43 at the 130, which would fall in that oblique zone. Um, remember, even oblique astigmatism is a type of regular astigmatism. The um, steepest and the flattest meridians are going to be perpendicular to one another. They're going to be uh, separated by 90 degrees. Irregular astigmatism, as covered in the last video, is when um, your two, your steepest and your flattest meridian are not 90 degrees apart. It cannot be corrected by some sort of cylinder value. That's when you need like a gas permeable or a scleral lens to create a new uh, tear lens behind a, a rigid surface. You're creating a brand new ocular surface. Hope this video has been helpful. If it has, please uh, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, um, review the material until you get it. Uh, we're going to do a final video in this series. It's going to cover um, classification of these astigmatism types. So, you know, we're going to go from regular astigmatism to with the rule astigmatism within that category. And then we're going to define it as compound myopia, simple myopia, mixed astigmatism, and just further uh, classify so you, you can just kind of build upon your knowledge there and feel comfortable to pass your NCLE. Uh, we'll see you next time.